a pleasant and nice good morning to my dear children welcome to the online english classroom of sri gogula public school guruvayu i am your teacher miss my dear children now we are moving through lesson 5 what happened to the clock do you remember the story i hope all of you have read the textbook very well and also studied the new words and meanings right yes and today we will discuss the question answers and think and answer from this lesson we will discuss section a section b and think and answer and you have to study the question answers from section a for your exam answer in detail you need not to study you need not to study the answer in details okay so get ready with your textbook and notebook section a answer in brief first question what were julie and robert playing with at the beginning of the story what's the answer what were they doing at the beginning of the story yes julie and robert were playing with their train set at the beginning of the story what is the answer julie and robert were playing with their train set at the beginning of the story second question were julie and robert happy about the time they got to play in the evenings dear children were they happy no they were not happy about the time they got to play in the evenings answer no they were not happy about the time they got to play in the evenings third question what did robert do to get an extra hour to play do you remember what is it what does robert do yes robert changed the time on the clock from a quarter past 9 to quarter past 8 to get one extra hour to play answer robert changed the time on the clock from a quarter past 9 to quarter past 8 to get one extra hour to play fourth question did robert and julie get extra time to play the next day repeat did robert and julie get extra time to play the next day answer no they did not get extra time to play the next day they actually got one hour less isn't it yes so i repeat the answer no they did not get extra time to play the next day they actually got one hour less dear children you need to study only these four question answers for your exam okay now section b answer in detail we will just discuss some question answers from this section it is just for your understanding level only you need not to study by heart all this answers in section b okay so let us start with the first question what did julie and robert feel after changing the time on the clock what do they feel actually are they happy were they happy no answer julie and robert felt guilty and a little ashamed after changing the time on the clock julie and robert was very unhappy and they were feeling ashamed and there was a feeling of guilty in their mind am i right yeah so julie and robert felt guilty and a little ashamed after changing the time on the clock question number 2 it only struck 9 times it is not 10 o'clock who says this what are they talking about who says these words yes robert says this and what are they talking about yes they are talking about the church clock so answer robert says this they are talking about the church clock i repeat the question it only struck 9 times it is not 10 o'clock who says this what are they talking about 
answer robert says this they are talking about the church clock third question mother i am glad you played that trick on us who says this why what was the trick what was the trick who said these words yes robert says this when he realized that his mother had changed the time on the clock to one hour earlier she played the same trick that the children had played on her i hope that all of you remember the story okay next question well i think you have learned your lesson who says this to whom what is the lesson learned who says these words to whom yes mother says this to robert and julie what was the lesson learned the lesson learned is that we must never trick anyone and we should always be honest well i think you have learned your lesson who says this to whom what is the lesson learned answer mother says this to robert and julie the lesson learned is that we must never trick anyone and we should always be honest think and answer first mother would never guess who thinks this way were they correct what's your opinion who thinks this way yeah julie thinks this way and were they correct no because mother has already understood the trick played by them on upon her and it is a not it is not a good habit to play trick upon elders family members and even to your friends okay question number 2 sometimes elders come to know of things even if we don't tell them has it happened to you what's your opinion does such a thing happen to you if yes we can share all those experience in our online live session okay so be prepared values discuss with a friend varun and sid are playing a game of snakes and ladders varun sees that sid skipped a number to avoid going down the snake he does this twice varun thinks it is a good way to win the game he starts doing that too so what is happening here two children varun and sid are playing snakes and ladders but varun sees sid is cheating the game he is skipping a number to avoid going down the snake seeing this varun think it is a good idea so varun also start doing like sid my question first one do you think varun and sid are enjoying the game are they enjoying the game now what's your opinion no they are busy in cheating each other is varun shocked to see sid cheat when varun sees that sid is skipping a number to avoid going down the snake at that time what is the feeling of varun is he shocked what's your opinion yes and what do you think varun should have done instead here varun is also doing like sid but according to you what do varun should have done instead what's your opinion yeah he must talk about it gently to sid here while playing snakes and ladders varun see sid is skipping the number so he also started doing like that but instead what he has to do yeah varun has to tell sid about cheating is not a good habit it is not good to play trick on others honesty make us strong honesty make us feel at peace my dear children today we discussed the question answers from lesson 5 what are they 
Yes, section A, answer in brief. Section B, answer in detail. As I told you before, you need to study the four questions, question answers that I have given in the Google Classroom. That is from section A, answer in brief. And answer in detail, you just understand the content. Okay, so that's all for today. Study the question answers. Copy down the question answers in your notebook. Okay, thank you.